Today, I'm going to review 10 apps to learn French from the point of view of a French teacher. Before I start, please like this video because I had to pay subscription for some of these apps to be able to give you a review. If you want to try one of them, please use the links in my description and in my first comment. It's not a sponsor video, but I do have affiliate links for a couple of them. Actually, several of them, I think four. Which means that I get a small amount of money if you subscribe to them. You do not have to pay anything more. It simply supports my channel and the work I do here. Thank you in advance and let's start the video because we have a lot to see. So we are going to review 10 apps and I chose to review them in alphabetical order so I give no preference. I'm going to have a screen recording of the app. I started them all as a complete beginners to be able to compare them easily. And we are starting with Babel. Babel offers a variety of interactive courses and exercises to help users improve their French skills, obviously. The app focuses on practical language skills and it includes personalized review and progress tracking features. Babel is one of the oldest... Do I say Babel? Do we say Babel the same in French and in English, actually? I'm not, now that I say it, I say, oh... I sound very French. I don't know. We'll see what you say in the comments. <laughs> so, Babel is one of the oldest language programs online, so we are looking at quality content. Let's see the pros. Babel has a well-structured approach with lessons that cover various topics such as grammar, vocabulary, reading, and speaking, everything to make a French teacher very happy. It also provides a personalized learning experience, tailoring lessons based on your skill level and interest. It also includes a speech recognition, which is really good, obviously, for you to practice your pronunciation and speaking skills. It also has grammar explanation, and I cannot stress that enough, that not many of them do, so I'm very happy that Babel does. The app also offers a podcast with 5-minute French stories with transcripts, which is a great feature. I have to say that I was actually very impressed about the pronunciation of Babel. Uh, some of them use AI, which I'm going to list them, I'm going to tell you every time it does. But Babel has a very, very good pronunciation. Excellent. Now the cons. So Babel is a paid app. It requires a monthly or annual subscription to access all the contents. Uh, this can be a disadvantage for learners on a tight budget. And you know me, I always think that knowledge should never be, you know, behind the paywall. So that hurt my feelings a little bit that there's not at least a little bit for free. But yeah, it's a paid app. This app may not be suitable for advanced learner if you are. The content is more towards beginners, intermediates. The app offers as well one-on-one uh, -on -one classes and live classes. However, you do have to pay for those. So I do find that a little bit off for me that you have to pay a subscription and then you have to pay on top of it to access the classes. I don't know, I feel like it should be free and then you have to pay for classes, fine, but having to pay twice is a little bit too much for me. Overall, I believe that Babel is a great app. Um, it has a lot of advantages such as personalized learning experiences, speech recognition, and grammar explanation. However, the cost of the app can be a bit expensive for a lot of people. Here you can see the prices, so the cheapest one is $20 a month, 20 Canadian dollar a month. I couldn't change it in, in US dollars. Bilinguap, and I have quite to say about that one at the end. <laughs> it's a reading app that teaches French towards bilingual text. 
which is great. So user can read stories and articles in French and in English side by side or not, they can choose not to, to improve their reading uh, comprehension and vocabulary. The pros is obviously the bilingual text with audio in both the target language and your native language. The app has a wide range of content, uh, stories, news, articles, song lyrics. I mean, there's something for everyone. It also provides interactive features such as quizzes and vocabulary lists. The app is quite easy. Um, it's very intuitive and it's very easy to use, honestly. Now the cons. It doesn't provide uh, much grammar instruction, so obviously it hurts my feeling as a French teacher. <laughs> I feel like you're just reading, but you don't really know why there's a preposition there or why the conjugation is this way, etc. I mean, like, it would have been good to include that. Um, some I've read online that a lot of people have reported issue with the audio quality. If you can hear something in my audio, it's beefy, she's sleeping right there. But the audio quality is not always the best. I personally found that the worst was the pronunciation. Um, I found a couple of mistakes in the audio, uh, especially plus haut, so higher. They don't, they don't even say plus haut. They, they don't even make a liaison with a Z sound. They say plus so. So that's like a double, a double pronunciation mistake. Oh. So the pronunciation is Unfortunately, not the best. For the content, the app offers a lot of content, but not all of it is free. Uh, I had to pay to access all the features. There's not, honestly, there's not much that was actually not free. I also had issue with the app not loading, and it only loaded correctly after I paid. So I was a little bit sketchy for that. And there's something with the payments that I'm going to talk about in a minute. Overall, I think it's a, it's a good app, but the pronunciation is not that great. But if you want to read a lot with the text side by side with English, it's pretty good. I mean, the translation were great. I had no issue with translation, the meaning, etc. I did have issue with the pronunciation. And for the money, I uh, actually didn't have to pay the seven day free trial. Obviously, hopefully I'm not going to forget to cancel it. <laughs> but <laughs> I couldn't find any information anywhere after I, after I put my information. I couldn't find any information about the price on the website, on the app. Nowhere, the only time I could find the information about the price was going back to my purchase app on Apple Store. So I would say not the best transparency when it comes to billing and, you know, basically your money. Now, Buzu. Buzu? Buzu. Buzu connects users with native French speaker for language exchange. It includes a range of interactive exercises and lessons to help you improve your French. For the pros. I found that the interactive lessons uh, were quite good because they are mixed with exercises and activities and everything. It's very repetitive, but I thought it was quite good. They focus on speaking and writing skills. They have personalized study plans, which is also a nice touch. Um, the social aspect of Buzu, which allow you to connect with other learners and native speaker which is fun to practice. Uh, I also found that the pronunciation of the app was excellent. Cons. One downside of Buzu is that many of its features are locked behind a paid wall, of course, which may be a barrier for quite a few of you. I found that some of the lessons um, were repetitive, but at one point they were just too repetitive. Too much, too much, too much. Personally. I don't know, I get bored very quickly when it gets too, too repetitive, so a little bit of repetition is fun, but too much is just, yeah, it's just too much, I don't know. Finally, the big point of Buzu is obviously the social aspect, but I tested it and I found it was a kind of hit or miss, depending on whether you're able to find a compatible language exchange partner. So overall, I think Buzu is a good app with some unique features that you cannot find anywhere else. 
this is the only app that allows you to connect with other people, but it may not be the best fit for every learner's needs or budget. Here you can see for the price, it starts at $10 a month. Now, Duolingo. Duolingo, I get a lot of questions about it, so here's my review. Duolingo is one of the most popular language learning apps. Uh, it uses a game-like approach to teach languages. It includes uh, reading, writing, listening, and speaking exercises, as well as progress tracking features. So the pro is that Duolingo is free. It's a free app. I believe you can buy extra stuff, but you can access everything for free, which makes it accessible for everyone. To everyone, it's quite good. The app is designed to be fun and engaging with a lot of exercises and game feature to keep learners motivated. Duolingo content is structured and sequenced, which help learners to progress through the language learning journey in a logical and manageable way, which that I really like. But for the cons, <laughs> we have a little bit of cons. It can feel really repetitive. In Sometimes you have to remember that it's like a game, so sometimes I believe that some people actually just do it to keep their score up, or you know, you can see the number of days that you have been on, and I think some people just do a quick lesson, just, just to not lose the day, basically. The app speech recognition is not the greatest. It gave me a couple of wrong when I'm pretty sure I pronounce it right. And I was literally like right on the speaker of my phone. So that's definitely not the best. I can see people getting really frustrated because I said right and I was like, what, what was wrong with that? <laughs> so I can see people getting a little bit frustrated with the pronunciation ones. The last count is that it's not tailored to every single learner. So some people might find it too easy. Some people might find it too hard, basically. I also, I'm just adding this now on top of my head. What bothers me with Duolingo is that a lot of time when they do vocabulary, they don't include the gender of nouns. And that really bothers me for French because it's a big, big aspect of French grammar. Overall, I think Duolingo is a great app to keep your foot in the door when it comes to learning. It's easy to not study or practice for a full week. So Duolingo can be useful to keep you engaged in your language journey. It's free, it's interactive, it's a great app. But can you learn French from A to Z with it? Absolutely not. Fluent U. I believe it's you. My French, my French brain wanted to say my fluent U, but no, I think it's fluent U. So it's a video-based language learning platform that teaches French through videos, uh, real videos and user can watch videos and complete exercises right after to work on the vocabulary and listening and comprehension skills. So like I said, it's authentic content, so it's real life videos. Real people are talking, it's not only animated, it's real people. So it gives you a wide range of accents, speaking style, and various contexts. The interactive subtitles so allows you to click on a word to find its definition and example, etc. etc. So that's good because you can see it right away, you don't have to wait. The app also tracks your progress and it will change depending on your skill level and learning style. The quizzes are nicely organized and they focus on gender of nouns. See? It's possible which I appreciate as a teacher. Now the cons. Obviously the cost, it requires a subscription to access to a content, which may be yeah, costly once again for quite many of you. Um, the exercises are limited, so while the video content is engaging, the app offers limited exercises after the practice. There are a few, but not a lot. Uh, it's also not for complete beginners, so fluent you assume so prior knowledge of French before studying. So it may not be suitable if you're a complete beginner who need more basic instructions. 
overall I think it's a great app if you are willing to pay for it <laughs> and have some basic knowledge of the language you're targeting. I always say French because that's for French learners that I'm doing this video, but any language, all these apps have many, many languages. If you want to try it, you have first a 40 days free trial and then you have an annual fee of $89. Now, Fun Easy Learn. So Fun Easy Learn is a gamified language learning app, a little bit like Duolingo. So the app includes a range of vocabulary and grammar lessons as well as progress tracking features. For the pros, uh, I found that it has a vast library of vocabulary words and phrases. I believe it's over 15,000 words and phrases in, uh, in French and 20 language. So if your goal is to build a lot of vocabulary and phrases, this is the perfect app. So the app offers um, a lot of learning modes, including flashcards, quizzes, games, which made the learning experience yeah, much easier for me, we'll say. The app is also user-friendly with a simple and intuitive interface. I appreciate not having to search and spend time to try to understand the app. This one is very straightforward. I don't know if it's me, but I'm only 35 and some of those apps, I'm like, oh my god, this is just way too much. They try too much. They try too hard. This one is very simple and I really appreciate that. Another pro is that it offers offline access. So you can continue learning even if you don't have an internet, an internet connection. And I was impressed by the app's pronunciation, actually. It was very clear and easy to understand. Another feature that I love about the pronunciation, about pronunciation, is that it includes the International Phonetic Alphabet, the IPA, which can be useful if you know it. If you follow my pronunciation course, you should be able to use it. Now the cons. So Fun Easy Learn does have a very big vocabulary library, but is not as complete as other apps because it really focuses on vocabulary and phrases. So this app is not suitable for advanced learners since you most likely already know the vocabulary and the free version of the app has limited access to content. So learner will need to upgrade to a paid version to access all the features, of course. Overall, I think it's a great app. I particularly my, my, my enjoyed the simplicity of the app. Sometimes less is best when it comes to language learning apps. So yeah, I would definitely recommend it. For the price, one month is $8 and then six months you spend $4 per month, etc, etc. Now Lingopi. I've talked about Lingopi before on this channel because first, I really like it. <laughs> and they have sponsored a couple of my videos before, so you might not so you might know about them already. It's a lot of talking in this video. So Lingopi use TV shows, movies, and documentaries to teach you French. So you can watch French language content with interactive subtitles and translations, as well as quizzes and reviews and pronunciation, etc. And you're gonna say, yes, we just saw the other one. Actually, it's not exactly the same. So for the pros, we have a wide range of TV shows, movies, and documentaries. They're really for all tastes. Trust me, I'm very picky, and I do enjoy a lot of their shows. This app provides subtitles in both your native language and your target language. The subtitles are interactive, so if you click on the word, you can hear its pronunciation and translation and what type of word it is. So if it's an article, if it's a noun, if it's a verb, etc. Every time you click on a word, the word is gonna go into your flashcard. So at the end of a show, all you have to do is go back to your flashcard and you can practice with uh, so flashcard, quizzes, and the pronunciation as well. I always say that it's like Netflix for language learning. So because of that, I don't think the app is actually too expensive. I think it's quite affordable because it's a lot of TV shows. It's not only just flashcards or such. 
But if you are interested, you can also get 55% uh, of your yearly subscription with my link. Like I said, I'm an affiliate and Lingopi sponsored a couple of my videos already. So I always have this discount for you. Now for the cons. The downside of this app is that you need to have some level of French. You're not going to have a TV show from beginners, beginners. It doesn't exist. So obviously, it's a video based app you need to have some level of French. Like I said, video based. So it's not going to provide very clear explanation about grammar or conjugation. It's very much video, video. Uh, the flashcard of the app have pronunciation, but it's AI pronunciation, which might not be always perfect. But with the show, you always have the good pronunciation on the show. Overall, I really like Lingopi, otherwise I would not recommend it on my channel. Uh, I find it a very enjoyable tool to use, and you always ask me what to watch. So here you go, you have an entire catalog to choose from. I'm sure you're going to be busy with it. So here's the pricing, so $12 a month. And if you go to the yearly plan, it's only $5 a month or $6 a month. It's even cheaper than Netflix. Memorize, 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 memorize. Memorize use flashcards and space repetitions to help you memorize French vocabulary. The app includes a range of user generated and official course as well as grammar and pronunciation lessons. For the pros, memorize and incorporate multimedia tools. So it includes videos, audio clips, and to offer different learning style. But it also provides multiple study modes, such as flashcards, multiple choice question, and speed review that I really liked. It also offers like a kind of gamified approach, making it engaging, so that's quite good for you. It also features spaced repetition, which help user review material at interval to aid long-term retention. Now the cons. While the user-generated content can be great, it can also be inconsistent in quality and accuracy, and I found a few mistakes. The free version obviously has limited features, and users will need to upgrade to a paid subscription to get to the better content. Um, Memorize might not be the best choice for learners who want a more structured or comprehensive language learning program. So I really wanted to love it, but honestly, I didn't. <laughs> I found it unorganized. Maybe it's me. I don't know. If you try Memorize before, let me know. Maybe I didn't use it right. I don't know, I, I just couldn't. It's just like, couldn't get into it. So for the monthly gross, we had $9 and then $60 for the yearly and $120 for the lifetime. I should have checked the pronunciation before. Pimsler? Pimsler, I hope. So Pimsler use audio lesson and repetition to teach French. Um, the app includes a range of beginner to advanced lesson, as well as pronunciation and listening exercises. So for the pros, it's an audio-based learning, so which means that you're going to understand very quickly the pronunciation and your listening skills are obviously going to be good very quickly. So there's a lot of repetition to reinforce your language learning. It's useful sentences and practical vocabulary, so that's good as well. Uh, it's good for learners who prefer structure and guided approach. Like I said, it's very good for your pronunciation because you're going to spend a lot of time on listening, but it has a few cons. So it has a limited amount of vocabulary and grammar in each lesson. Um, I found it very, very repetitive, like a little bit too repetitive for me, personally. It's more expensive than other learning language apps, and it may not be as engaging or interactive as other apps, again. So for the review, I did enjoy the flashcard, the skills, and the quick match games. I found it very fun, but I found the lessons to be confusing and not well organized. So the interactive side is very fun. I didn't enjoy the lessons, personally. 
you do have a seven day free trial if you want to try after that it's 18 dollars a month for the last one we have rosetta stone rosetta stone is one of the oldest language program i think it's probably the first one i've ever heard of in my life so the app used the exact same method as the software that you used to buy at the store. Do you remember with the CD? <laughs> it's the same thing. So it's interactive, of course, it has a speech recognition technology and personalized feedback. I will say that right away, it's going back in the counts. There's no free trial. No. So let's see the pros. Rosetta Stone's immersion method is excellent for mimicking how people learn their first language. The app offers a wide range of exercises and activities, obviously, um, including reading, writing, speaking, and listening. So you cover a little bit of everything. Speech recognition technology, it's quite good. This one is quite good, actually, I didn't have any issue with it. And it also creates personalized learning plan based on individual progress and level. I can see Beefy, I can see Beefy's ear on the camera, so that makes me laugh. Cons. Beef, do you wanna be in the do you wanna be in the video? Beef, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't. For the cons, um the immersion approach might be a little bit overwhelming, especially for beginners. The program lacks Explicit grammar explanation for me. Uh, I thought that it could be an issue for learners. And it's also more expensive than other apps. While I do find the app really well done, I found that the lesson lacked structure. Uh, at one point, I jumped into passé composé without any explanation. <laughs> and I can see a learner being totally lost. So it is good, but I don't think that it alone could be a great one. For the price, you're looking at $11 a month, so you have to take three months uh, right away, so I don't know. I did read that it has a 30 days trial, a 30 day money back guarantee. Uh, I don't know how well they support that. Okay, Beefy is fully awake now, um, so I'm gonna go. Please, <laughs> hi. Please don't forget to like this video. I hope you enjoyed this review. It took me a lot of time to get all the information, to try everything. Uh, let me know if you have a question. I would be more than happy to help you. And please don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you next Wednesday for a new lesson. A mercredi prochain.